all of a sudden, a couple years later, out of the blue, I get an email from her. I'm like, oh, I got an email from my advisor. And it said, guess what? This is the year of the client. And you know what? I thought every year should be the year of the client. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about defining who your ideal fans are is that that's the sweet spot, right? When you love your clients and they love you, that's when you know you're on track. And then, you know what you do? You pat yourself on the back and you roll up your sleeves and you start doing the work in the marketing world. Every Thursday morning, 7.30, put on your suit, show up, have your breakfast. And there was this, this advisor there that was talking about critical illness and disability insurance. And I listened to that for a year. My 14 year relationship ended and I was still going to that breakfast networking group. And I thought, well, I'm a business owner. Who's gonna take care of me now? I'm on my own, I'm solo. So it took me another six months, but eventually I bought critical illness insurance. And you know what? 18 months after I bought that critical illness insurance, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. It saved my life and it saved my business. And it helped me through a very, very difficult time. But the point of my story is not that. The point of my story is that you need to be repeating your messages over and over again. Don't worry about being boring to people. They are not going to hear it. It will go over their head until they have the need. You're not being redundant. They understand that when somebody posts or tweets something out that's a life event, like a new house, a new career, a baby, or whatever that is, there's a potential to have a meaningful conversation. You are going to understand how the five myths of marketing get in the way of growing your business exponentially. In the second year, it's about getting, 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 getting more clients. But in the second year, you're gaining more knowledge and experience. And by the third year, you're starting to feel more competent and confident. And that's when you get to that place, and maybe you get there earlier, maybe you arrive a little bit later, where you start to realize that there are certain clients that you have where there are similarities. Referrals are, are the silver lining, right, in your business. You are trained to ask for them. And when you get them, it feels great. It's kind of like crack. You keep coming back for more. <laughs> Of course, I, I would recommend that referrals are a much healthier life choice. <laughs> what I recommend is that you just take the one thing that you garnered today and make that a priority to focus on in your two hours a week. And by making that one change alone, that one change, you will achieve your goals in less time with more ease. Thank you very much for your time. Really